What is good? It is your boy Pablo Gray, and we are back with another reaction video. And today we have a clip, and the title of it is "Majority Disapprove of Trump's Handling of the Response to George to Floyd's Death." Poll. Morning Joe, MSNBC. MSNBC. Um, y'all, y'all heard me talk about this a little briefly on my last video. Sorry, I keep going down this way. This is where the mic is, but uh, I talked about this briefly in the last video. And the first thing I'm gonna say is. How the fuck, who, who the fuck put a poll out there? And if they did, it must be the, one of these niggas who put a poll out here in front of one of them YouTube videos you watching, or Instagram uh, videos, or even a Facebook video you was watching. And that's how they got these polls, because I, I haven't seen it, I don't know. I've seen a poll like one time, and the only time I've seen a poll about anything, or uh, a survey about anything, is on a YouTube video. So, this is probably where they're getting this shit from, but... If not, the shit's made up. But let's find out. Oh, before we get into it, you like what I'm doing here, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I really do appreciate it. I'm just trying to give y'all some truth, add some value to your life, and help you understand what the fuck is going around you so you can think for yourself and stop believing all this dumb shit at face value. But anyway, let's get into it. As we mentioned a moment ago, nearly two-thirds of Americans disapprove of President Trump's reaction in the aftermath of George Floyd's death, according to a new poll. When the latest ABC Ipsos asked if you approve of the way Donald Trump is handling the response to the death of George Floyd. Let's just pause it right there. Do you approve of the way Donald Trump is handling the response to George Floyd's death in Minneapolis? 32% approve. 66 disapprove. Among 706 adults between June 3rd and 4th. Okay. Who asked this? That is 700 people. Who did they ask? Where did they ask this shit at? And were there any other questions leading to this? What, like, what else? Like, what platform did you ask this shit? But let's hope, hopefully they tell us. Because um, 706 adults, if you know anything about science and statistics, that's that's not a, a good sample size. That's not representative of the population whatsoever. But this is a great way to get views. It's a re great way to... To, to to get your views up, get get your statistics up to make make some bread. Good way to get people to click on this. Good clickbait. Let's go. But in Minneapolis, thirty-two percent of Americans say they approve of his reaction, while sixty-six percent say they disapprove. The poll also found seventy-four percent of Americans feel Floyd's death was a sign of broader problems in the treatment of African Americans by police. 26% of Americans feel it's an isolated... Okay. That's something I can agree with. But, like I said, what type of questions were they asking previous to the one before? What order is this going in? Because if you know anything, I'm, I'm a psychology major. You you know that leading questions could could also help formulate the, your idea or your answer for the next question. Everyone, anyone in psychology knows this. It, it's, it's, it's almost like, I don't know what to call this, like priming. I, I think the right term for it is priming, but how, how it's used in questioning, I don't know how to, how to phrase that. But it's like priming. You get someone to think a certain way before asking them a question, and that way you can manipulate the answer in the end. Right? It's like if you, let's say you had no idea about what goes on in the slaughterhouse, right? In a slaughterhouse, you know, where they, they cut up pigs and stuff, and you had no idea, and they you watch a video, right? Beforehand, you you had no idea, so you didn't have no problem eating bacon and nothing like that. And then you watch this video, and then they ask you questions about you eating bacon and shit, and now all of a sudden, you like, nah, I'm against it, all of that. They primed you to answer that way. It's, it could be the same way, and you have no idea. This is why this type of shit is important. Stop going off face value. You need to research this shit. Because anything could be said. Stats can be manipulated. I went to a class where my professor manipulated stats for fucking homework to make it look good. It's a thing. People do this shit. And, and shame on you college motherfuckers who know this shit and, and you still run with this. Shh. Shame on the motherfuckers who sit in class for multiple semesters in statistics knowing that they do this dumb shit and you run with it. Sitting in, sitting at a desk knowing that half the information being taught to you is the same information your professor wrote. Not 
I, when I went to school, my professor wrote my fucking books that I learned. I didn't just get a random book that was from everybody. No, I got I got a book that my professor wrote who had to get it approved by the board of his school. So we were learning from my professor. Whatever the fuck he thought was truth, after everyone else approved it, we learned from him. Think I'm lying. Look that shit up. YSU. There's a bunch of professors out there. Youngstown State University. There's a bunch of fucking professors out there that teach with their book that they wrote after they had it reviewed by a, a board of people who have to agree or disagree if it's the truth and let's just say it, it doesn't really matter if it's factual or not as long as they all agree on it that man can now teach that subject let's just put that out there there's nothing governing saying like well you have to if if the shit's factual you have to agree no they can agree if they fucking agree or they can disagree if they choose to fucking disagree it isn't on any basis of truth I just want y'all to remember that and everyone who is in college I know it wasn't just at my university I know it happens everywhere you know y'all y'all learning out a book that your professor your professor wrote that right there shows you that people can manipulate data information stats just like that but anyway back to the fucking video His approval rating for his handling of coronavirus remains at 39 percent 60 percent of Americans disapprove of the president's handling of the response to the virus. Joe, you've got two numbers in the 30s right now and the two biggest questions in American society. And they're going to ask a, a virus question. This this is this is the shit I'm talking about, bro. They are eating this shit up. And now they're about to show you the stats so that it can be reinforced when they start talking to you about it in person. When you didn't know about this, they're going to start talking to you because only 706 people knew about this before this. So when they talk to you, you're already going to have your shit primed to think like, okay, yeah, I don't like the way he's handling either. I don't like the way he handled the George Floyd situation. Society They're priming you. The coronavirus, which is still very much with us, has been overshadowed, of course, for the last couple of weeks by the protests and demonstrations after the death of George Floyd. And George Floyd's death and his movement in this country where only 32% of Americans believe before I go on, I'm going to just say this. Listen, Florida, y'all got some crazy motherfucking mosquitoes, dog. I know back in Ohio, we got mosquitoes, but y'all y'all got some, some motherfucking ninja mosquitoes. These niggas come out of nowhere. They're huge, and you feel these niggas when they hit, man. Straight up. These niggas everywhere. before things are changing dramatically not just politically but also societally uh, in our society but look at these numbers in, in 2014 I talked about before 60% of white people thought that Ferguson and the Eric Garner incident were isolated ones now 70% of white Americans believe it is a systemic problem it's did you see what he just did there? 74% of white people. So that means these 706 adults, none of them were black. None of the people who were answering these questions are black, right? He just said that. They didn't reveal that information to begin with. So let's just let's just go back. And this is the shit I'm talking about. It is so easy to manipulate data. 70% of white Americans believe it is a systemic problem it's a systemic problem uh with policing in black communities and yeah you 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 look at uh, the number right now in this incredible crisis that we find ourselves in and yes 32 percent of americans support the way the president's handling it 66 percent uh disapprove and if you dig into the numbers of uh, 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 another serious problem for the president and for a campaign that was expecting to get 15 20 percent of the black vote which would have been much higher than any republican candidate has ever gotten in the past 90 percent of black americans are opposed to the way the president is handling this crisis. who are you asking who are you asking because i don't think y'all know how google ads work it's nine times out of ten the poll has to be posted before an ad or near an ad or it it has to be seen to you. You're not people aren't just sharing it. So 
I don't think you understand how Googling ads work because I had to use it for music. I still use it for music. You can target a certain group. You could target certain people who use certain words. You could target people that use the words hate Trump, right? I don't think y'all understand this shit. And this is why I'm telling y'all, y'all need to research this shit. Because if all I did was ask people who mention hate Trump in their in on Facebook if they approve of the president, what the fuck do you think they're going to say? Huh? What the fuck do you think they're going to say? Listen, I'm not even going to go even further with this video. I obviously, I put the link of all the clips that I do in the description below the video. So if you want to go watch the rest of this shit, go for it. But I, I just want to show you about this this disapproval, the, the, the statistics, and how silly the shit actually looks. Um... The reason I'm not going to continue to go on because it's not really much else that I don't think they could mention. Um, as far as this, they got 706 people to to do these polls. And from the polls, they're going to tell you um, see, the majority disapproves of Trump and how he's doing shit. He's, they're not going to vote for him. Uh, doesn't like the way they're doing. He's handling George Floyd. That's what they're going to tell you. That's, that's really what it is. And if I'm wrong let me know because like i said i'm not about to watch the rock watch the rest of it if you are and then you're gonna tell me about what else they're gonna say let me know if they say something positive because i don't think that's gonna be the case here um but yeah stop believing everything you see face value man that's that's really all i got to say man you like what i'm doing here like comment subscribe share i appreciate it let me get back to this doobie